please turn your shirt off? <laughs> what? I'm giving myself dramatic entrance music. People will know I'm awesome and to be feared. All right. There's nothing more awesome and frightening than a man who's got music blasting from between his nipples. <laughs> What's next? No, I think I'm just gonna stay in tonight and do laundry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go. I don't believe this. <laughs> Bazinga, punk! Now we're even. that smell oh. Oh. <laughs> yes what are you doing in there I'm making hydrogen sulfide and ammonia gas just a little experiment in pest control <laughs> it's not gonna work dude I grew up in India an entire subcontinent where cows walk in the street and nobody has ever had a solid bowel movement <laughs> Well, we'll just see how long you can hold out. Well, we'll just see how your noxious gas fares against my cinnamon apple scented aromatherapy candles. <laughs> Didn't you say you're making hydrogen sulfide gas? Yes. Isn't that flammable? Highly. Oh, dear. <laughs> This is not over. <laughs> no! no! What? Oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? That's where Sheldon sits. He can't sit somewhere else? Oh, no, no. You see, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so we can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. Well, perhaps there's hope for you after all. You get on the second floor of the Glendale Galleria. I don't know. I was on the Pasadena Freeway. I missed my exit, flew off the overpass, and one thing led to another. Maybe you want to give it a rest and try again tomorrow. No. I quit. Oh, the pet store. Remind me to compliment while it's on the software. It's amazingly detailed. And the next morning, when he woke up, he rolled over and realized, da, da, da. <laughs> she was his cousin. <laughs> That's still not funny. <laughs> That's still not funny. <laughs> and she was my second cousin. <laughs> and she was my second cousin. <laughs> You're a real douche. Who cares? You slept with your cousin! <laughs> What the hell is wrong with you? I'm the Flash. I just knocked 30,000 times. Okay, what do you want, Sheldon? I understand why you're upset. Really? Yes. You're afraid that costume makes you look fat. Wait, don't worry. 
Wonder Woman was an Amazon. And Amazons tend to be very beefy gals. <laughs> Goodbye, Sheldon. But they're not blonde, so put on your wig. <laughs> Hello? This is Ira Plato, and you're listening to NPR's Science Friday. Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California, is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a Wyatt. <laughs> Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Cooper. My pleasure, Ira. Now, let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet, which has, as even the most uneducated in your audience must know, two poles. <clears throat> uh, north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two smaller magnets, each with its own north and south pole. Uh, Dr. Cooper, I think there might be something wrong with our connection. Uh, no, I hear you fine. <laughs> I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. A requirement for string theory, or hemp theory, if you will, is the existence of monopoles. I myself led an expedition to the Arctic Circle in search of said particles. Cricky, I found the nozzle. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Oh, a napkin. <laughs> Turn it over. <laughs> to Sheldon, live long and prosper, Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> he came into the restaurant, sorry the napkin's dirty, he wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> Possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, but look, he signed it. <laughs> Do you realize what this means? <laughs> All I need is a healthy ovum, and I can grow my own Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> giving you is the napkin, Sheldon. Be right back. Here, open it. Oh, we just took a motorcycle lesson. Very thoughtful. Yeah, and I'm not letting that following while standing still. Listen, one. Okay, I think it'll be fine. Okay. 101 fully cool science experiments for kids. You know, because you're still in the science. No. <laughs> it's not enough, is it? Here. <laughs> Leonard, look, Sheldon's hugging me. It's a Saturnalia miracle. 